and welcome to this edition of Newsleader on 6. I'm Jenny English. And I'm Jim Fuller. In tonight's news, unemployment numbers in the state continue to improve. The Federal Trade Commission is warning about a new scam involving Social Security recipients. The Tullamore Recreation Department is launching a new program this month and will introduce you, introduce you to a very remarkable Tullahoma family. We'll have these stories and more on tonight's Newsleader on 6. Keith Barnett here at Russell Barnett Ford of Winchester. Check out the 2018 Ford F-150 as low as $34,739. That's Russell Barnett Ford on 41A in Winchester, home of the lifetime powertrain warranty. And remember, my question is, why buy anywhere else? My wife Jackie has always been the life of the party, but things changed when she couldn't be as active anymore. They told me I needed a double knee replacement. It's not as big a deal as it used to be, but she still needed to go to rehab. I was amazed at how good the therapists were at Life Care. They took really good care of me. They took excellent care of her. And now she's back doing the things she loves, and that makes everyone happy. Life Care Center of Tullahoma wants you to get active and live well. It's time for every family and business in Tullahoma to go green and recycle. Tullahoma Public Works makes it simple and easy to recycle. Just place your recyclable materials, paper, plastic, aluminum, and cardboard beside your garbage container on the same day your garbage is picked up. Your recycled materials don't have to be in a fancy container. Recycling is not only the right thing to do, it makes sense. Recycling pays. Paying to bury our garbage costs each of us. Please do your part. Let's go green, Tullahoma, and recycle. Welcome back. Unemployment dropped in more than one-third of Tennessee's 95 counties in November, according to a newly released data, according to newly released data from the Tennessee Department of Labor and Workforce Development. Rates decreased in 38 counties, remained the same in 24 counties, and increased in 33 counties during the month. The new data shows there are 91 counties across the state with rates less than 5 percent and only four counties with rates greater than 5 percent. Labor and Workforce Development Commissioner Jeff McCord said, quote, it's very encouraging to have so many counties with unemployment rates below 5% during November. As we moved closer to the busy holiday season, more Tennesseans were taking home paychecks, which is the ultimate goal, end quote. Williamson County had the state's lowest unemployment rate at 2.2%. That figure is down one-tenth of a percentage point when compared to October. Davidson County had the second lowest unemployment rate for the month. Its current statistic of 2.3% mirrors the rate from the previous month. Cheatham and Rutherford counties both have a rate of 2.4%. Cheatham County's rates represent an increase of one-tenth of a percentage point, while Rutherford County's rate did not change between October and November. Clay County experienced an increase in un un unemployment, giving the county the state's highest unemployment rate at 5.9 percent. Hancock, Hardeman, and Bledsoe counties follow Clay County with rates of 5 percent. Statewide seasonally adjusted unemployment was down one-tenth of a percentage point when compared to October, setting the November 2019 rate at 3.3 percent. In the immediate area, Lincoln County had the highest rate at 4.4 percent, followed by Bedford County at 3.4 Franklin County's rate was 3.2 percent. Tullahoma reported 3.1 percent unemployment and Moore County had the area's lowest rate at 2.6 percent. The Federal Trade Commission says seniors receiving Social Security benefits should hang up the phone if they receive threatening calls claiming to be from the Social Security Administration. I got a phone call. Someone identified himself as a representative of the Social Security Office and that a warrant, a no bail warrant, had been issued for my arrest. I'm 83 years old and it scared me to death. The Social Security imposter scam is very widespread right now. What these scammers are trying to do is they're trying to induce a state of fear. They're trying to make you feel very, very panicked. They actually said federal authorities, including an armed marshal, would appear at my door within the next 24 hours. That had me sort of uh, feeling jittery. Sometimes they'll ratchet up that anxiety by telling you that there are marshals or police officers or sheriff's deputies that are about to arrest you. That's very, very scary for people. Uh, so what they're doing is they're playing on your fear, on your anxiety, and on you wanting to do the right thing. That's how they're going to next try to control the next actions that you take. And they told me to get in, the, in my car, drive to the store, and get uh, a Google Play card and put the $500 on it and give them the number. Once they've got those PIN numbers, they've got your money. So how do you take control back? Well, the first thing you want to do is just stop 
and take a breath. Take a moment and say, okay, thanks for the call. I need to investigate uh, what's going on here. Hang up the phone. Uh, Go talk with somebody that you trust. Do uh, a search on the internet. When it happens, let other people know because the more that it's talked about, the better armed people are to behave assertively when somebody's behaving aggressively toward them. Since then, I have told everyone that I know and a whole lot of people that I don't know This scam is hitting all parts of the United States, and it is hitting people at every age level, every education level, every income level. If this isn't happening to you, this is happening to your neighbors. This is happening in your community. So if it does happen to you, please talk about it. We know that when people are familiar with scams, they are much less likely to lose money. Report it to the FTC at ftc.gov slash complaint. Stay with us. More news is coming up after these messages. Keith Barnett here at Russell Barnett Ford in Winchester. Check out the 2018 Ford Taurus. Yours today for $26,992. That's Russell Barnett Ford on 41 and Winchester, home of the Lifetime Firetrain Warranty. And remember, my question is, why buy anywhere else? Ah, the glory days. Running to daylight on the gridiron. And chasing a ball with a mind of its own. Cheering the team to victory and marching to the beat of your own drum. Memories that last a lifetime. But sometimes we're reminded of our glory days in ways we'd rather forget. Get back in the game. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live and play well. Is this the year you want to get fit? If so, check out just some of the things Tullahoma Parks and Rec has to offer. Kickboxing, aerobics, silver sneakers workouts, Swim lessons, boot camp, water aerobics, basketball, Zumba, yoga, pickleball, lap swimming, treadmill, karate. Get fit, Tullahoma, and have some fun with Tullahoma Parks and Rec. Welcome back. Lyle Russell from the Tullahoma Recreation Department stopped by our studios to talk about a new program the department is implementing this month. To have joining us on the set now, Lyle Russell from the Tullahoma Recreation Department, who was telling me just a moment ago as we start the new year, he's faced with enormous challenges trying to keep coming up with exciting activities for, yeah. for our citizens of Tullahoma that, that use the uh, rec department. Yeah, yeah, it's it's always a struggle, and now we've got a new year, uh, so we're tr- we're trying to come up with some new things to get people excited about getting out. So. Yeah, and I think you've uh, you've got you've hit on some things here that you're. Yeah, I've got a couple. Um, the first one I'll tell you about today. Uh, we're we're trying to work with a couple other very very good groups here in town um, mm-hmm. that a lot of people may not know about. There's two um, extraordinary groups of people. The Friends of Short Springs is one right. of them. Uh, and also the Tennessee Trails Association, which I think you just saw a commercial for. Right. Um, so I'm, I'm working on a program with them where we're going to try and get people out, um, get, just get them out hiking a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, that's something that I really like to do, um, you know, having a background in Boy Scouts, and mm-hmm. I know that's they love to do it. That's their hobby. And, and yeah. Friends of Short Springs do such a great job of keeping that, that up out there mm-hmm. um, with the help from TVA and a little bit from us. Um, so we need to show it off. Um, true story, I was in Lowe's not too long ago and I struck up a conversation with the couple that was waiting in line behind me and um, they asked me if, you know, how long have you lived in Tullahoma and all that stuff. So we started talking about that. And, um, you know, when I told them I work for Parks and Rec, they, they said, um, well, where is there a good place to go around here to go hiking? And I said, oh, you got to go out and see Short Springs if you haven't been there. And they said, we don't even know where that is. And so I told them a little bit about it. And, you know, they had lived here for almost five years and had no never kidding. been there. Yeah. yeah. And so I thought, wow, that's that's amazing because it's a beautiful place. You know, it's got one of the, I think it's in the top ten waterfalls in Tennessee to uh-huh. go visit uh, out at Machine Falls. So so I thought, well, we got to fix this. So we're going to do this program where I'm going to try and do a guided hike um, once every two months. So we'll try and do six throughout the year. Uh-huh. So you'll get some winter time, spring, summer, fall, and, right. and then back into winter again. Um, cold weather hiking, hot weather hiking. We're going to do some instructional uh, uh, things about that, how to dress, things to bring. Um, so it just try, kind of make it a beginner's course to get out and enjoy some things and do it safely. Right. Um, it, 
I'm guessing, and you being a former scout probably already know yeah. this, but I'm guessing that there are some technical things that a person needs to know before they just jump into that. Oh, sure, you know, sure. They? Even uh, Short Springs is, is a pretty contained area. It's, it's right. got a you know, pretty good distance and walking. But there's not really a lot of places back there where you can get into serious trouble, but there are some places that if you don't know what you're doing, uh -huh. you, know, you could get stuck out there or you could get injured and, and things like that. So um, part of what I want to make this program into is, is how to go out and enjoy it and enjoy it safely for people who have never been uh -huh. or maybe have done it a couple times but may not know what they're doing yet. So, right. so we want to change that. Is we, that about, uh, Lyle, is that about learning the terrain or is it just fundamental hiking well, when, things? Well, when you go hiking, and there's a lot of things to consider. Um, obviously, weather, um, who's going with you, so ability levels. You may have a, an experienced hiker, and then you may have a young child who's used to walking around the house or the yard. Yeah. Um, so if you plan a two-mile hike and you bring a four-year-old on that hike, you're going to have to have a few things with you to help you know, keep, keep the interest, make sure they don't get tired. If they do get tired, how are you going to get them back out? Yeah. Um, so there's, there's a lot of things to consider. Uh, the terrain is, is a big one. Um, you know, what kind of things you might run into, uh, you know, if there's any uh, first aid situations or uh, make sure you bring plenty of water, uh, know the trail markers, and, you know, know how to get in and how to get out. Um, so we're going to cover a lot of that stuff. And, and, and I guess there are basic first aid materials that you probably shouldn't carry with you oh, in that kind of, kind of situation. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And even if it's not necessarily for you, I mean, I, I've been on hikes before where I've come across other people who are injured. Uh -huh. uh, and so, you know, we were able to help them because of what we brought with us and so because of your background in boy scouts you're always prepared right? well i try to be <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> not okay. doesn't always work but i try to be um so yeah so we want to get people out and enjoying that and i just i think back to that couple that i met in lowe's and thought wow lived here for five years and still haven't gone out and seen this beautiful waterfall that we have right here in our own backyard right um, so we're going to try to fix that. So um, the first uh, hike that I'm planning to do is February 29th. Mm -hmm. We're going to make it a leap year hike. Um, and uh, I'll have some more details forthcoming uh, sure. on our Facebook page and, and some flyers that I'm going to do. Up. Right. And so, you may need to come back and update us. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then, I'll be so. back before then anyway yeah, to tell so, you about right. that. So. More news is coming up in a moment. It's not invoice. It's not MSRP. It's not Christmas Day, although it may feel like it. It's the lowest prices in Middle Tennessee, period. It's a Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac before these prices are gone forever. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. When your family suffers the loss of a loved one, the caring and compassionate staff at Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel are standing by to assist you in every way possible. We are proud to support local industry and offer only Batesville caskets. Many funeral homes don't own or operate a crematory. We utilize the only crematory in Coffee County. Your loved one never leaves Coffee County. We can accommodate any need and any budget. Consider our complete pre-need service to remove this burden from your family during their time of grief. Lock in today's low costs and protect from inflation. Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel. Our family caring for your family. Welcome back. Approximately 65% of people making New Year's resolutions resolve to lose weight and get in shape. This video will help provide you some helpful hints to help you accomplish that goal. I'm physically active uh, primarily for my health, but it also brings me joy and peace of mind. It carries over into all aspects of my life. I'm physically active because it helps me maintain my weight and it makes me look good. Um, the main reason I am active is to help control stress in my life. Uh, my wife just had a baby and we have another one at home and um, I'm self-employed. We built a new home, a lot going on in my life like a lot of people do and exercise really helps me keep that under control. I'm active mainly because it helps manage my diabetes. Because I just want to live as long as possible and enjoy every minute. Keep the doctors happy. It keeps me sane. 
being physically active is a great way to relieve stress. I like walking because it clears my mind and it's good for my teenagers too. I feel a lot more energetic and I think it really improves my quality of life. I'm active to uh, avoid health problems that are hereditary in my family, diabetes, obesity, high blood pressure, cholesterol. I'm doing this for me. There are a lot of reasons for being physically active. It's one of the most important steps you can take to improve your health, no matter what your age, shape, or your size. Hi, I'm Dave Patania, and this video can help you understand how much activity you need to do on a consistent basis, how to begin a sensible routine, and how you can be active, healthy, and happy. It's all contained in the physical activity guidelines. We'll give you some specific, easy to understand examples of how you can meet these guidelines each week. Not only can being active reduce your risk of many long-term health conditions such as heart disease and diabetes, but it can also help to increase your chances of living longer, help you control your weight, improve the way you look and feel, and even help you sleep better. Let's start with what we mean by physical activity. Physical activity is any movement of your body that uses energy. Many of the things you already do are examples of physical activity like walking the dog, mowing the lawn, doing light housework, or even grocery shopping. But to get the greatest health benefits from physical activity, you should do aerobic activities each week. You need to do things that make you breathe harder and make your heart beat faster. You also need to do activities that make your muscles stronger. So the question is, how much activity do you need to do each week to gain health benefits? The answer is found in the guidelines. For important health benefits, the guidelines recommend that most adults get at least 150 minutes a week of moderate intensity aerobic activity, such as brisk walking, or 75 minutes a week of vigorous intensity aerobic activity, such as jogging, or an equivalent mix of both moderate and vigorous intensity aerobic activity each week. Don't feel overwhelmed by the amount of physical activity you need to do each week. I know, 150 minutes a week sounds like a lot of time, but it's actually not. That's two and a half hours, barely more time than you spend watching a movie. And the good news is, is that you don't have to do it all at once. In fact, it's best to spread your physical activity out over the week. Now, when it comes to meeting the guidelines, you'll be surprised by the variety of activities you have to choose from. Almost anything counts as long as it's a moderate or vigorous intensity for at least 10 minutes at a time, anything less just doesn't count. For example, going for a brisk 30 minute walk five days a week gives you 150 minutes of moderate intensity activity. Or if you can't fit the 30 minutes in all at once, break it up into 10 minute chunks of time during the day, whatever works best. Now, of course, aerobic activity is important, but so is strengthening your muscles. That's why the guidelines recommend that adults do muscle strengthening activities two or more days a week that work all seven major muscle groups, the legs, the hips, the back, abdominals, chest, shoulders, and the arms. Whether in the gym or at home, you can strengthen your muscles in many different ways. Some examples are lifting weights, working with resistance bands, or doing activities that use your body weight for resistance such as push-ups and sit-ups. The best tip I can give you is to find an activity that you actually enjoy. It's much more likely that you'll stick with it. And be sure to check out our other videos for details on how you can live a more active, happier, and healthier life. I'm Dave Patania, and my activity of choice is running, so come on, let's go! We'll be right back with more News Leader after this. Keith Barnett here at Russell Barnett Chevrolet GMC in Winchester. Select Silverados will receive supplier pricing and $6,500 in rebates. Only at Russell Barnett Chevrolet GMC on the bypass in Winchester, home of the lifetime fire train warranty. And remember, why buy? anywhere else. Here at Manchester Funeral Home, we know the importance of living and working in our local community because it's those families who we serve during their time of need honorably. We believe in supporting local business and offer only 100% Batesville caskets, the best in the industry and a driver of our local economy. If you want straightforward and fair pricing while working with the people you know, choose Manchester Funeral Home, serving your community since 1932. And pre-planning and pre-funding can be the best gift you ever leave your loved ones. Call us to pre-arrange. Manchester Funeral Home. Our family, caring for your family since 1932. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip. And then, boom. Adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing. 
or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. Welcome back. Peggy Burton spoke earlier this week with an extraordinary Tullahoma family of entertainers. This is Jim Hardy and his wife Jenny, and they are have fostered to adopt most of these children. And uh, I'm going to let each child introduce yourself just briefly, and you can kind of scream it out if they're not here and they might not. Let's start with this baby right here. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Oh, yeah. we got can you show one. us your teeth? Can we see your teeth? Show no. your teeth right here. We lost two teeth. So. She's lost some teeth. This is Olivia. Yeah. yeah. This is Olivia. Okay. And now are you? Lucas. 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 And how old are you, Lucas? Four years old. And your sister's five. I know that. Okay. We're going across. I'm Mackenzie. I know Mackenzie, but Mackenzie is a beautiful girl, and she's a singer, and she's an actress, and she can do a million things. <laughs> and behind her. My name's DC. DC is also an actor, and I just found out he's got the lead role in uh, Pirates of Penzance coming up at South Jackson Civic Center in March. March. Mm -hmm. And that's our youth organization for homeschoolers, yes. correct? Yes. That'll mm -hmm. be great. Yes, and this pretty little girl in glasses. Emma. I know you too, Emma, another dancer, singer. Mm -hmm. And Zach. Zach, who also dances, sings. I, I am so impressed with this group because the first time I met them, they were, was two years ago. Yeah. Was it two years? Mm -hmm. yes. And I just think you're the most beautiful family. Thank what you. made you decide to foster children and adopt? Well, we tried for a long time to have mm -hmm. kids of our own and we couldn't. And honestly, I think fostering was a way to fill that, that need. Yeah. Um, My parents are foster parents, so we, uh, Gave it a shot. And you gave it a shot and you did a good job. And this is, Olivia's yours. Yes. It's our only biological. Your only biological child. And you have three more at home. Yes, yes ma'am. And what ages are they? 27, 23, and 21. And 21. So it's all the way down. You got. Yes, we're, yes, we're that crazy. You guys family could do the sound saying. of music. <laughs> <laughs> the hills are alive. Yeah. You could do it. It'd be great. Uh, fostering, people that don't know what fostering to adopt is, it just means. You get the children, you love them, and then you go through the process of adoption. Which is it easy it's, to adopt? It's different with every every one of our children. Really? Yes. Some from out of state, it's a little harder. Um, if you're not related to them anyway, it's another. It's even more difficult. But it's not as bad when people make it. Sound. It's not it's as just, bad. It's just as an you effort. Know. You have yeah. to perform yeah. the effort. Mackenzie, how old were you when they adopted you? I adopted her. Okay. She came with Jim first. All right. Time. And what were you, five? Do you, do you yeah. remember? I don't remember. You were five. I think you were four. Yeah. I think you were six. And DC? Fifteen. I came with my younger biological brother, Lucas. So you came with Lucas when you were fifteen years. Uh, 15. Yes, fifteen. Fifteen. And now you're sixteen. Seventeen. 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 Oh, 15. I, sh I should have figured that out. <laughs> <laughs> Two years. And, and uh, do you remember how it felt to be in this family? Well, I had, I lived with them in the past, and I mean, they're, they're a really good family. I couldn't ask for a better one. They teach me things every day, and. I think the beauty of this family is, you, you told me that you were, they're all studying different things. I know they yes. take voice lessons. Mm -hmm. yes. A lot of them, I don't, maybe not these babies. All four, yeah. of these. all four of those all, are voice. All those four take voice lessons. And we have five in guitar. Yes, and we're in. five taking guitar yeah. lessons. We've done piano, of course, theater. And theater, which yes. is uh, homeschoolers have a wonderful program. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad that South Jackson oh, Civic Center has finally oh, in, instigated a it's homeschool it program. program. And uh, it happens in Manchester at Mac. They have yes. a, a homeschool program. And we're doing which Frozen is also this fabulous. Time. And this is, I think, the first time we're going to be doing theater at the Mac at the Civic Center. We're actually they're going to be doing Joseph as well. So oh my gosh! We have three shows going on. Yeah, three it's, shows it's a little going crazy at one time. With, with <laughs> Do you have kids. Uber to help you out? <laughs> we have mom and dad's taxi yeah, service. Mom and dad's yes. taxi service. We live at the different theaters. Yeah. Well, yes, obviously it's Ow. been good. Zach, I see you in a lot of things. I know recently. What was the last thing that I saw you in on stage? Uh, High School, Ryan, High School Musical. High School Musical. I was oh, Ryan. I think of it. But that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. 
Uh, and you four were in that, weren't you? Yes. yes. Do you have a favorite part, Zach, that you got to do? Either Bonsai from Lion King or Ryan from High School Musical. Okay. Lion King, that, that was fun. It yes. was really fun. And the one coming up, Pirates of Penzant, that's a different sort of yeah. play. Yeah. And I was, I, right now I can't think of a song from it, but... It's um, very operatic. Do you do that one? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. What, what is that? The name of it? I can't think it's, of it. I think it's just the major general song. No, the major general song. I am the very song. model of a modern major general. Yeah. It did. A lot of words. Are you going to memorize it all? I've already, already memorized half of it. I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. You probably know everybody's song. song in the show. Emma, you're in it too, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. I am in the pirate ensemble. Good. And you are? I'm in the sister ensemble. The so sis sis. The sister. Witch? Okay. And you're in exactly. there too, aren't you, Zach? Yeah, Zach's the I'm police officer. I'm police. You're a policeman? Okay. Well, I'll look forward to seeing that. And that, I don't know the date. Is it March 8th? I don't know why that. I, I think it's the 10th or 11th. 10th or 11th. And, and then again, again, again the next week yeah, as well. Yeah, and it'll be for, for people to come see it or for, for schools, I think. Yes. It'll yep. be open to school. Uh, anyway, you're a beautiful family. And such an inspiration to me. I love each and every one of you, and I thank you. I admire what you're doing. And really, I don't know what to say except thank you. Fabulous group. Any last words that you want to say, anybody? Anybody? You ready to go? All right. <laughs> so wave bye -bye. goodbye to the audience. Bye -bye. Stay with us. Your weather forecast is next. Keith Barnett here at Russell Barnett Chevrolet GMC in Winchester. Select GMC Sierras up to $10,000 off original MSRP. That's Russell Barnett Chevrolet GMC on the bypass in Winchester, home of the lifetime powertrain warranty. And remember, my question is, why buy anywhere else? We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift quickly. Brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's going to be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor stat. Welcome back. We're going to take a look at our weather forecast right now, starting with our weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1930 at 71 degrees. The record low was in 1970 at negative 4. The average high on this day is 49 degrees and the average low is 30. For tonight, expect cloudy weather with a low of 53. And on Friday, showers are in the forecast with a high of 62 and a low of 61. And on Saturday, storms with a high of 71 and a low of 42. And that's it for this edition of News Leader on 6. And be sure to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for News Leader on 6. You have a good evening. Good night.